there everyone. This is Sari Yazewski, Simply Fun Master Playologist, and I'm going to tell you about Pass the Ruby Room. This is Simply Fun's um, language and reading game that is for age, suggested for ages five and up, um, and it's a word association game based on letters. Um, and how this game works is um, we have this um, really cute kangaroo. Her name's Ruby. And um, players get to choose what letter they want their word for their turn to start with. So um, let's see, my name starts with S, so I'm going to go ahead and put Ruby at the letter S. And so when, um, when I go to roll our nice chunky die that comes with this, I'm going to roll it and it landed on the number five, which with this small of a um, selection of letters, won't really work all that well. So let's pretend that I rolled a two. Okay, so then I have the choice, since it's my turn for this round, to count one, two, and flip over the letter M to get our category, or to, to go from the letter S where Ruby is, one, two, and flip over the letter E. On the opposite side of each of the letters, there is our category. This one is anything that is outdoors or anything having to do with outside. So um, everyone plays the word association part um, each round, regardless of whose turn it was to place Ruby and choose the letter and roll. So um, everybody plays and you need to find, um, think of something that starts with the letter S that is outdoors. And oh, I thought of one, but instead of blurting it out, part of the game of, of or part of the um, game mechanics of Ruby Roo is that you must ask to have Ruby Roo in your hand to be able to um, give your answer. This is working great on impulse control. Um, such as for kiddos that may be in a school environment, um, raising their hand to um, answer or um, even when their parents are talking or adults are speaking or other people are speaking, waiting their turn. So we're, we're working on impulse control and language development. Um, and so I'm going to say, please pass Ruby Roo. Um, and then I'll be holding Ruby Roo and my letter is S. So I'll go ahead and say sunshine. That is something that involves the outdoors. So I will go ahead and collect a ruby and um, for um, not only giving a correct answer, but also making sure that I asked for ruby, um, the, the kangaroo, on my turn. The first player to get four of these in, is the winner. And of course, this game is um, modified currently um, because right now I have some pretty basic letters um, to um, have for um, the word um, choices. Um, of course, in our bag here um, that is a cloth bag, um, we have all sorts of other letters that we can add to it, um, including the complicated letters of like X, Y, and Z. Those are put together since they're a little bit more challenging. Same thing with U and V. Um, and then we have categories such as things to eat or drink, um, vehicles or things that move, um, there are shapes and colors, um, people's names, that's what those faces are indicating. Let's see what else. Um, games and activities, and articles of clothing. Um, I, uh, and one more, I believe. Oh, two more. There's um, furniture, and also animals. And of course, these are all um, on the instructions inside of the box. Um, and so this is a great game that works on word association. Um, you can simplify it down for um, younger kiddos that are really working on what those beginning sounds are. Um, and maybe even taking out those vowels and putting in the easier ones like a G. And maybe, um, where was that T I saw? Or an H. 
um, or a W. So you can um, switch it up to whatever sounds that your kiddo is working on. Um, and then you can add it back in um, and make the game grow with your child or, or your players um, as they get older. Um, a testimonial for Ruby Roo is I had a speech and language pathologist who had a kiddo that um, was uh, dyslexic and um, refused to even look at the alphabet. Um, that um, SLP um, purchased past the Ruby Roo from me um, and use, utilized it in her clinic. That little girl, when she walked in and saw the letters in game form, um, not only was excited, but engaged for her entire 30 minute session. And then the following week requested to play this game again. So this really opened up um, a new way for that little girl to experience um, the letters in a playful way that helped her to learn. If you have more questions about Pass the Ruby Roo or any other Simply Fun games, please ask. Love to help you. Thanks.